wish doctor here. I had a, uh, and I, I've got it covered in some of my videos, but I'm on the road and I've had a question from somebody about the two cords that plug into the machine with a little alligator clips on the end of them, and somehow they've missed it. I know it's covered in the manual, but regardless of that, this video is going to be made specifically about those two cords. What are they for? Why are they there? If you'll notice, on the left-hand side of your machine, it says input. On the right-hand side, it says output. Sometimes on the input side, you've got the input plate, if you know uh, where I'm talking about, where the metallic uh, look is on the upper left-hand corner of the machine. That is where you put whatever is a witness or representation of your wish, your intention, what you're seeking whether you're using a picture, whether you're using uh, uh, some money, whether you're using uh, something you've written on a post of note, that's where that would go. Now let's say that you want to, you've got an intention like you want to be a, uh, uh, a star basketball player or something that, let's just say whatever you want to use to represent your intention will not fit on that upper left hand corner of that plate. Therefore, you would use that cord, and you would attach, you would plug it into the machine. You know, it plugs in, plugs out, just like a, a little earphone adapter. Um, and you would plug that into the machine, and the other end is the alligator clip. So you could take, if it's a larger item, you could take a metal pan, uh, some cookware, metal cookware, and you could put whatever represents your intention in that, and attach that alligator clip to that metallic container you're using to hold your intention that's too big to set on the wishing machine input plate. So that is in brevity, that is how that works. On the output side, uh, you've got normally a person would put like their picture to represent who they are, the recipient of whatever their intention is. I'm doing this for me, I won't uh, some money to come to me, so I'm going to put my picture there, or my name, whatever. You could choose different things. It works a little bit different with different people, so you can experiment with it. Say I put my picture there for a few days, and I don't feel like I'm getting results, so I'm going to add uh, uh, my name. I'm going to write my name out, or print my name out, and put it on the output plate as well. So let's say that I'm sitting, and I am... Uh, reading or just relaxing in my chair, maybe just lying in my bed, and I want to really make sure I've got the machine working in conjunction to make sure that I'm the recipient, that it's connected well to me. So I can, let's say I'm sitting in a chair, or maybe I've got the machine in the car, as I'm, it's, it's in the console next to me as I'm riding down the road. On that output side, I've got that plugged into the output jack. And the alligator clip side of it, I can simply attach it to whatever clothing I'm wearing. So that the machine is directly attached to me. Now that would work even better if I have some kind of a metallic chain or bracelet on my arm. Something metal like that. Uh, that I could attach that alligator clip to what I'm wearing if it's, like I said, a little metal uh, chain around my neck metal uh, bracelet uh, but any piece of your clothing that you're wearing at that moment will work too and of course that will work as long as you're sitting with the machine that'd be not uh, appropriate to use as you're you know walking around the house or whatever uh, but you could use it as you're driving down the road set the machine in the passenger seat or console next to your and, and, and use it that way or you could of course when you're sitting in your living room or wherever or like it lying in bed. So that, that's the purpose of those two cords. And I want to make that clear. If there's any other questions, uh, address them to me. I'll do my best to answer them. Best wishes, everyone.